Hello everybody and welcome back to another Essence of Zen video, Zenokami here coming with you with another Google Chrome tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to work on our Chrome browser and basically build up a defense for it. Now there's plenty of talk about you know the NSA this, privacy that, Facebook um, tracking user mouse for data ads this and blah blah blah. So let's actually talk about ways to actually defend against that. Um, step one I would recommend is download Ghostery. Ghostery is basically an, an extension or a plugin however you want to call it that looks for these third-party elements like trackers. Um, personally like the, if you've ever been to a website that uses the discuss commentary like block at the bottom it'll block that, it'll block certain specific ads, it'll get rid of a lot of tracking on Facebook of course, uh, advertisers and other programmers will always find ways around this eventually, but Ghostria actually keeps their stuff up to date, and you can always check and make sure that your settings are always up to date as well. So first, what you want to do, you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. You can do that by simply going to chrome.google.com slash web store. From here, you want to search Ghost, E-R-Y, so Ghostery and you just search it and it should come up be the first one on the list you want to go ahead and download it and install it when you do it you're going to get this message right here the introduction so next thing you want to do is it will basically explain everything that you need to know if you want to read it and go in depth of what it does so just basically click the next arrow now you know very <laughs> a lot of people especially when you're installing something like this you do not want to send anonymous data because they say well I'm already trying to block people from getting my anonymous data why would I want to send more anonymous data I'm personally I like to support the people who make Ghostream because by sending them anonymous data you can actually make sure that they can keep their information up to date to create more lists and um, data to block other surveillance data and etc so personally, you know, this is up to you. If you don't trust it, you know, don't don't click it. Um, right here, I would highly recommend that you do enable, and this basically keeps the library up to date. Basically, when those advertisers find ways around Ghostery and you know they start popping back up, if you don't want to have to go into this menu every single time to update or check for updates, you can click here to have you know the automatic updates, and that'll keep the library fresh, and you don't have to worry as much about the advertisers and uh, programmers getting around the blocking. So then we're going to go to our next little button here. Um, personally, I do not like having the uh, alert bubble on because every website you go to will have something that this blocks. So it can be kind of annoying. Like if I go to uh, Facebook. Okay, I'm not logged in, so I didn't grab anything. What other websites might have something? Maybe Yahoo.com. Maybe. See, see, look at all the things that is is blocking. I can go to someone like Hackaday, and I love these guys, but you know, recently they got bought out, so eh. and you see how much things you know get blocked here. So that's what the balloon is, and it's annoying because there's so much and it can get so large. And so I've had the bubble reach down I have to have like a quarter of the entire web page. So I'm going to. Uh, click this to disable the alert bubble. I almost said unable, unenable. So disable the alert bubble, and you know keep going. So here is where you know the blocking comes in. You can actually fine tweak all of these uh, things. So for instance, if you want to have certain widgets to um, bypass your blocks, you can set it to do that. Personally, I do them all. I really do. And if I if I'm on a web page that I trust and I realize something is being blocked you can actually go in and do a um, like it'll, it'll be a little ghost button that has a, a, a disable sign on it you can click that and you can allow it to either allow once allow all the time and something else I can't remember but for all intents and purposes I'm going to uh, block all of them and if you want to see what it looks like in terms of you know down here and etc so you can block all of this all of it all of it all of it. I thought that said YOLO for a moment. 
And then we're gonna go to our next things, and then we're all done. Ghostry is ready to use and it's set up properly, and that's it. Okay. Step two of what I would highly recommend is use add block. And it is those are apps. I use um ah oh, dang it, which one was it? Because I believe I use the app block plus as well as the normal app block. Um they're really much the same. I think I started out with AVP when I was using Firefox back in the day, but now I go with the normal app block. And it can be quite confusing. These two are two totally separate things. So, you know, yeah, gotta be careful. I mean, they're both good, it's just uh, I prefer the just app block. And we'll wait for that to install. Installing, installing done um you know app block is really useful and i would go as far as to say that you know you should donate something if you don't if you don't have 35 dollars to donate you know i would probably say at least five dollars at the most or at me at the least excuse me um but you know, any bit helps you know these people they're giving you a free program that to use to block things so might as well help them out you know but the reason why i do like um app block is because even if you have websites like um, Tech Syndicate. I love these guys, and you know they you, they get money from the ads that they have on their website. So what you can do is see how it says you know it blocked something, and it only blocked one thing, one simple thing. So what you can do is you can click this, and then you go to do not run on this page or do not run on this domain. And because I trust these guys, I love Logan, I love Wendell, I love Pistol. You know they're they're all awesome. So what you want to do is click don't run on pages on this domain. And then make sure everything is set and then you do exclude. It's going to refresh the page. You're going to get this thumbs up. And I thought they had an ad on the right somewhere. That's what I thought. Um Maybe it's Ghost Tree also blocking something. We'll go into that later, I guess. Make sure I can, yeah. And um, that's basically it, it as well. So now you've helped out the people who you trust, as you know personally. And okay, we're still under ten minutes, so we can actually go into the Ghost Tree. Um, welcome to the Findings Panel Panel Tutorial. Click this. Uh, it tells you that you know you can click this button up here to do a lot of the to see the tracking and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You can actually enable some trackers and whatever. You can block some, allow some. You can make exceptions. This is what we're going to use on this website because again, I love these guys. Uh, you can pause blocking temporarily, whitelisting a site. Basically, the same thing that we kind of did with ad block at the same time. So I'm going to do 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 done close this um, I'm gonna keep the widgets closed I'm gonna keep the connect closed and then this is the one that I want to um, enable for this guy so click here to always enable Google AdSense on tech syndicate tech .com. so then that we've whitelisted these guys only for Google AdSense um, not Google Analytics and not for um, I'm not sure they use this to make money off of I'll probably make a post on their forms about this and ask. But I'm gonna go ahead and whitelist these guys and then do a refresh. And I'm still not seeing their ad anywhere. So let's double check the other advertising. Uh, reload. Because I think it's probably popping up here. I'm not 100% sure. Let's double check by whitelisting the entire website. Yep, there we go. So I'm not 100% sure which ad choice this was doing. But now that, you know, they'll now get credit for the advertisements that you see on their webpage. 
So that's an easy tutorial of how to basically defend against you know uh, advertisements and trackings and etc. You can whitelist websites you trust, you know, and etc. Um, there's one more thing that I do highly recommend to anyone who uses Gmail a lot, and that is the extension. I think it's called like Mailvelope or something. Close that. Um, Mailvelope. Yes, right here. Secure email with open PGP encryption for webmail. Now, I'm eventually going to do a different um, video on a tutorial for this all together. But essentially, you can actually encrypt your emails because we all know that you know the NSA has their you know, dirty little grips in every type of email, website, uh, personal information, and all of that jazz. And you know, open PGP encryption isn't you know 100% fail safe. Nothing is 100% like you know protected, fail safe. You're 100% secure, but it makes them jump through more hoops than necessary. And you know, to me. They can work for what they you know what, what they work for that they're doing. That should be illegal. I'm not sure if there's any loopholes around it legally, but I don't like people invading my privacy. So this right here is what we're gonna basically do in our next video for keeping Chrome secure, and we'll show you how to create these keys, encrypt a message, and send it. And the other, the other person must use mail envelope as well. So we'll go through details like that as well later. So hopefully guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, um, comment below if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, if you have other um, extensions or plugins you think help secure uh, Google Chrome, leave them in the comments below, we'll check them out, maybe do a video on them. Um, uh, that's basically it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully, I, I really do hope this helps anyone who's looking, to, looking for this information regardless. So until the next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.